Hello again. Today we are going to practice using the best bets for ow and oi to help us to spell words correctly. So when we hear ow in a word, if we hear the ow at the beginning or in the middle of a word, we might use ou or ow. When we hear ow at the end of a word, we usually use ow. When you hear oi, at the beginning or in the middle of a word, you use OI. When you hear OI at the end of a word, you use OY. So those are the rules we're going to use to help us to spell some words. And we're going to play with some pasta. So I'm sure you've probably had grown up say to you before, please don't play with your food. But today we are going to play with the pasta and we are going to spell some words. So the first word we're going to spell is boy. So tell me the sounds you hear in boy. B, oi. So we hear the oi at the end of that word. So I'm going to put the b on the plate and you are going to point to the oi that you think we need to use at the end of b, oi. You point to the one you think we need. So when we hear oi at the end of a word, we use oy. So if you chose that pasta, well done. So we have now spelt b, oi, oi. Let's put those back. Here's your next word. Tell me the sounds you hear in coin. K, oi, n. We hear the oi in the middle of that word. So I'm going to get k. I'm going to leave a space for the oi in the middle and then I'm going to put n on the end. So we'll have k, oi, n. So you've got to point to the oi that you think we need to use in the middle of coin. Let's see. If we need oi in the middle of a word, that's the oi we used. So if you pointed to this piece of pasta, well done. We have now spelt k, oi, n, coin. Let's put those two back. Those three back, actually. Here's your next word. Tell me the sounds you can hear in the word out. Ow. The ow is at the beginning of out. So I'm going to leave a space for the ow and then I'm going to put t. So can you point to the ow that you think we need in out? Let's see if you were right. We had the ow at the beginning of out. So it could be ou or it could be OW, so we're going to have to try both. So I'm going to try OU first. Give me a cheer if you think that looks right for out. Okay, if you're not sure, let's put that one to the side and we'll try this one. Give me a cheer if you think that looks right for out. Okay. It's actually this one. So hopefully that was the one you gave me a cheer for. We've got out, out. Let's try the next one. The next word is toy. Tell me the sounds you can hear in toy. T oi. The oi is at the end of toy. So I'm going to put t and I'm going to leave a space here for the oi. So you have a look and decide which oi you think we need at the end of toy. Can you point to it? So at the end of a word, this is the oi we need. So if you chose this piece of pasta, well done. We've now got t oi toy. Let's put those back. Here's your next one. The next word is town. Tell me the sounds you hear in town. T, ow, n. The ow is in the middle of town. So I'm going to do t. I'm going to leave a space in the middle. T, ow, n. 
So you've got to point to the L that you think that we need in the middle of town. Let's see if you were right. L in the middle of a word, it could be O U or O W, so we'll try both. Let's try O U in the middle of town. So if you think that looks right for town, so it's a little bit tricky to see that all the pasta's rolling over. There we go. If you think that looks right for town, give me a cheer. Okay, let's try the other one. Let's see what you think of this one. You think that looks right for... <laughs> oh, we've got slippery pasta. Slippery pasta. If you think that looks right for town, give me a cheer. Well done if you chose this one. This is the right spelling for town. Let's put the pasta back. Okay, two words left. Next one, tell me the sounds you hear in count. K, L, N, T. The L is in the middle of that word. So I'm going to have K. I'm going to leave a space for L, K, L. Then I'm going to have N. Ow, n -t. So can you point to the owl that you think we need to put in there to finish count? Right, the owl is in the middle of that word, so it could be O-U or it could be O-W. So we'll, we'll try both of them. So I'm going to try O-U first. Have a look at that. If you think that looks right for count, give me a cheer. Let's try the other owl. See what that looks like. If you think that looks right for count, give me a cheer. So the right one was actually the first one we tried. So here we've got, oh, slippery pasta again. K, L, N, T, count. Right, last word coming up. I've got challenge for you. It's a long word. So when we do long words, we need to split them up into syllables first. So we're going to use a hand and a finger to tap out the syllables. So get your hand and your finger ready. The word is cowboy. Go. Cow. Boy. So we're going to do cow first. Tell me the sounds in cow. K. Ow. So the ow is at the end of cow. So we're going to have k and then ow at the end. So point to the ow that you think we need. So at the end of a word, it's O-W we need. So well done if you pointed to this one. So now we have k, ow, cow. We were trying to write cow, boy. So we've done cow, now we need to do boy. Tell me the sounds. B, oi. So the oi is at the end of boy, so I'm going to have b, and then we need oi at the end. So point to the oi that we would need at the end of boy. So at the end of a word, this is the oi we need. So well done if you pointed to this piece of pasta here. So let's check what we have. We have k, ow, cow, b, oi, boy, cowboy. Well done, that was a challenging one. So that's something that you could have a try at home with some um, old pasta. You could try writing some graphemes on and have a go at practising your spelling using some pasta. It's a bit of a more exciting way to practise spelling. Enjoy!